All right. So people are getting banned. Uh, somebody hit me up in my Discord uh, DMs and was like, hey, people are getting banned due to the Hell Hades optimizer business as well as the RSL helper from Farb stuff. I wanted to dive into Reddit just to see what everybody's talking about because I still haven't seen any videos or seen anything other than, you know, the sentence, oh, people are getting banned from uh, so-and-so. And I just got home from work. I'm a little tired, but let's go ahead and dive into this. So as one of the recently banned, this is Irvin Ivanta. He's talking about this. Seven hours ago, I'd like to preface this by stating no firm indication has been given as to why I was banned, but I thoroughly appreciate Farb, Hell Hades, and Saf for their quick response and assistance to figure out what is going on. They're amazing, and their customer service is on point. It really shows that they care about their users. I gathered what little information I could on my end and provided it to them, and they immediately went to work to figure out what the hell was going on. Saf gave the all clear to the optimizer, waiting for more details from Farb, discussing it with Polarium. Now, I'll update here when I hear something. Anyways, I digress. This is a shout out post to those two amazing service providers that take care of the people. It is true. Farbstaff, Hell Hades, Saf, that entire team, both teams do a lot for the community, for the raid community. I'd like to throw in um, Yannick and Bronco for the speed calculator and all the comps that they're coming out with. Big shout out to them as well because they're providing a lot to the company uh, and, and everybody else who's behind or under the, the Bronco umbrella as well. I'll update here when I hear something. Oh, wait, oh, we read that. Uh, thank you guys, you and your teams, for all you do. Community is really the best reason to stay on raid. Exactly. The community is really the best reason to stay on raid. That's I've, I've said it so many times. I'm going to say it again. I'm never going to stop saying it. Community is like the number one reason why I still play raid Shadow Legends. Sincerely, RDK. Only one account was banned of the two I primarily used with both applications. The two of them are the one I used them on less was actually the one banned. Again, I say there's no firm indication as to why exactly I was banned. It could have nothing to do with the apps, but both developers are on top trying to figure it out. Where am I in terms of my accounts? I'm good. I've been playing mainly on my phone. Um, like I have both, both my accounts still running. They're completely fine. They're not banned, but it has been a long time since I've used the Hell Hades Optimizer or the RSL Helper by Farbstaff or even the Speed Calculator by Yannick. I haven't used those in a while. Like, I, I still play on PC every now and then, but mostly it's, like, me just playing a bunch of other games or, like, doing other editing for my other channels. Now, I don't know. I know just as much as the next guy who is learning about this for the first time. This was, like, this information was bestowed upon me while I was at work, while I was with uh, a screaming baby in my face. Now, I can't speak for anybody who is banned. I can't speak for the, community, the the content creators. I can only just relay and talk about what's going on. So with all that out of the way, again, my accounts are not banned, but also I have not used any third party, whatever you want to call it, um, on my accounts, any of my accounts. So both of my accounts are still working in fact we can go ahead and log into my uh, i'm running my main account on my on my phone right now doing hydra uh just leaving it sort of there but we can go ahead and log into my alt account just to kind of see what the business is here i don't see any bans i think by now a ban oh it's pausing what's going on here uh oh no yeah it's good yeah so uh burrito slayer number two is fine and dandy here so we're we're good on all fronts here Good on all fronts there, which is a good, you know, satisfying thing. Now, let's see what other people are saying. I have to wonder if it is none of the RAID tools and maybe just some new Windows update driver or GPU that's causing the game to run too fast and player may be flagging it as a third party party tool, causing the game to operate suspiciously. RSL Helper and Optimizer are just easy ones to point fingers at. They could be the offenders, but if one of them is, why aren't we seeing more bans? That is true. That is true. Now, obviously we can see my account, my alt account is running. And if anything does happen on my alt account, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna leave this up and hopefully nothing ever happens while I'm still you know, playing here, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure at some point, if it is like a window, cause my, my computer, my, my windows is up to date and everything. In fact, let's go ahead and, and X out of here and log back in and see if that triggered anything. 
and let's log back in to see if I got a ban notification. Not not using any third party, whatever you want to call it. It's just uh, Windows 11 or what it is. So so nothing yet. Nothing's here. Nothing popped up. Everything looks okay. Wait, what? We can't use RSL Helper or the Optimizer? There were people who got banned for quote-unquote suspicious activity. And the canned email said it was for using third-party software. It looked like it could have been RSL Helper or the HH Optimizer tool that got flagged, but it was never clear. Farb and HH guys have been working on trying to figure it out. Going to play it safe and not use either of them until I hear more. Um, I I personally, like part of me is kind of like, yeah, don't use it. You never know, just in case. But then the other part of me is just like, Farbstoff and Hell Hades are both big players in the raid community. I'm pretty sure if something happened, Polarium would just write it off and be like, oh yeah, it's our bad. Our, our system flagged something and you guys are still in clear uh, have have clearance to use it because there's no reason why it shouldn't you know why would it be like so many years later that we can't use it blue stacks is another thing that i don't use anymore that i don't have installed but i i, I think of that as a third party thing maybe that could be a thing i don't know black boy 16 says i will use it's not that i care it's almost impossible not to use these two almost impossible but then again, I remind you guys, there was a time before RSL Helper or the HH Optimizer. Back in my day, when I first started playing Raid, we had to do things manually. We had to write down notes if we wanted specific numbers for stats. Putting teams together? Oh, we had to fail like a hundred times, waste thousands of energy. It is possible, but the convenience that Farbstaff and Hell Hades provide, next to none. Once you, once you use these things you're not ever going to want to go back away from using it it's a hassle like right now i'm trying to gear war mother but i don't want to use the hell hades optimizer i'm trying to do it for a, a video but i'm trying to do it like manually played this game since early 22 haven't used either of them except for rare instances it's not that difficult to play without them it's just different this is true actual archer is correct we can use the program is on but should we that makes me laugh I wonder if folks are using the airplane mode strategy for gear level leveling. That probably throws some error messages. Negative, I'm not. I did it years ago. Honestly, I forgot about it. Learned about it a few days ago. This is true. This is old news. This is old news. This was this was something I learned about during COVID. The airplane mode strategy for gear leveling to save and like min max silver, but nobody's got time to be doing all that. I looked it up on YouTube. Ah, Lord B4, there he is. Flarium's known about that for five years. I think they would have said something if it was the airplane trick. I have both the Optimizer and RSL Helper. Been using them for two months. No ban. Very interested to see what causes the flag account versus others. In fact, I'm using the RSL Helper now as we speak. There's a RS... RS... R... R... Schlachter? Schlachter? Feels pretty unlikely that it was actually either of those applications. Given the read-only nature of the Optimizer, would feel safe ruling it out maybe maybe some login issues for folks not using a pc as an inter intermediary intermediary but all it really does is read your data send it over to the hh server uses your pc or remote algorithm to do the actual optimization so there's no load or anything on polarium's end helper well it does in fact do things for you in game typically frowned upon however polarium has said it's fine and has had for years and has had years to ban it if they should see fit, I would imagine they would give a warning. Way too much money would be lost if they had banned it. True. Other culprits include other games, actual malware, anti-cheat, other specific programs, antivirus, virus, <laughs> virus, antivirus, etc. The list is very long. Alternatively, if something like 2FA was off, someone could have logged in and ran something actually illegal. Without more info, it's pretty tough to say. I understand that Polarium probably can't give out too much information for fear or further exploitation, but spreading fear through the community also isn't great. It kind of sucks, but without knowing what they're doing, it's tough to advise. To advise. This is true. This is more along the lines of like, hey guys, we don't really know what's going on. Right? We don't understand. Polarium hasn't told us anything. We don't want to jump to any conclusions quite yet. We don't want to go down the rabbit hole of thinking, what could it possibly be? 
without knowing for sure because the what ifs are only going to send us spiraling. This is the case in this game, this situation right now. If you're one of those banned people listening, I plead for you. You know, I hope you get your account back, especially those of you who spent a lot of money because it'd be a pretty big dick slap if they banned you. Completely fucked up. Honestly. I hope you guys get your account back if you're watching this. Now, if they programmatically detected in near real time, they could boot the user or block their login, give the vague message, give the user a chance or a window of time to correct it. Quote unquote, we noticed some suspicious activity on your account. Please check third party software. Try to log in again. See Hitopus blah for more info. Saves the user from um, saves the user some frustration of surprise bans and saves their customer service some uh, some time potentially too. It looks like it could be. Actually, hold on. Let's see this. Could it? Oh, he's asking. Could it be from running multiple accounts through Aris uh, L Helper? I don't know. Uh, let's see. As I was recently unbanned, I can assure you that if you give the proper info to Platinum, Platinum, they should clear you out. My issue was that I did not have the two-step verification and got hacked by a Ukrainian. I don't know what happened to you, but Polarium has good service on that end in my experience. Weird. I don't have the two-step verification on. I don't think I got hacked. But what would a, a Ukrainian want with a Raid Shadow Legends account? Why hack? To all of those of you saying that you can't live without RSL Helper, I'm sorry, that's not true. You just got to learn how to play the fucking game. I don't gamble with things I can't afford to lose. I always uh, I always suspected RSL Helper or any third-party application might bring a ban hammer down on those who use it, so I never did. Glad I chose this route. Yes, things take longer, but it's well worth it. So he's, you know, doing his little spiel like, yes, you can't play the game. You can't live with but I would rather just give up on the game than not use it. We all know we can live without it, but would rather just give it up. Give up the game than not use it. There is no world where I manual every aspect of the game. I'd rather not play the game than to be chained to my phone or PC at all hours to do basic shit. True. Shut up and take the down votes. People's opinions are meaningless. I know what I said was right and that's all that matters. That's true. I'm shocked everybody wasn't banned years ago. Literally every single game on the planet bans anyone for using a third party app like these. The fact that it took Polarium this long and no one thought it was inevitable is mind blowing. How to lose half your player base with one simple move. Let's take a screenshot of that, because I think that's a uh, that's great to put on the thumbnail. Because if this is the case, so it's pretty fucked up, right? The people who put these tools out are officially sponsored by Polarium as content creators. I've always heard that RSL Helper and HH Optimizer were formally approved by Polarium, but don't have a source for that. Ah, uh, here we go. Lord B4. This guy is reliable. I see him all I see him in the YouTube comments. I see him all over Reddit. They have never formally approved them. The most we ever got out of them is that those two tools obviously didn't violate the rules. Thanks for clarifying. This is exactly why there is always a risk. Never formally approving something means there is always a risk of being banned due to using them. Silently allowing them to be used does not mean they are approved tools. Hmm. So, I'm going to go look for another Reddit, Reddit post. In fact, I'm going to dive in to, um, let's see, technical game channel rules. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything on the content creator Discord, but I doubt they would tell me anything I just got here. So, and there's nothing on the, on the Discord thing. I, honestly, even if I saw it, I don't even know if I would tell you guys about it right now, just because. Ready for the post trend Yannicka Ironclad nerf clash? Oh, this is another thing. We'll talk about this um, next video. I've been banned and you can be banned too. Who's this guy? Suspicious activity. This is the this is the thing here? Let me see. Here I am, mobile only. Dreaming of awesome. I hear you on that one. iPhone only. If the choice is between not using these tools and getting banned, then ban me up, baby. It's probably for the best, really. And at least I won't have to think about the choice between the chore of playing a game Without them in quitting. RSL helper and HH optimizer or death. That's a good one also. Let me take a screeny screen of that. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Well, did I save the other one? Oh, I didn't save Lord B4's uh, thing. Oh, wait, crap, hold up. Might have to go back and get that in a bit. See, I'll see what, uh... Be pretty upset about it at first about being banned, but I know that quickly turns to relief and gratefulness. This game is designed to be addicting. This is true. And they really got their hooks into me. Luckily, I'm free to play, so it's not destructive to my wallet. But this game has really become too much of a time sink and a mental distraction. This is true. Guys, I've been playing for over five years. I've spent thousands of hours, I'm pretty sure at this point, thousands of hours playing Raid. I'm not complaining. I love the game. I enjoy the game. But this is true. Playing this game without stuff like Ars of Helper is something I can't be bothered to do. I do it just fine. Same boat. How do you find it hard to play? It is time consuming. Better things to do with your time. Guys, if <laughs> the point of playing a game is to play the game and to have fun. If you're not enjoying it, if it's a chore, don't play it. I'm at the point now where I'm just like, if I don't want to play our um Raid Shadow Legends, I just turn my phone off. I don't I don't play it. I can put my phone down. I've said it before, if they ban RSL Helper, I will not keep playing the game. Good lord, is there a single big company that can handle ban or company that handles bans and third-party prog uh, programs in a good way? This is not allowed. This is not, you were banned for using this, which is not on the allowed list. Why can't they make it simple? True. Raid is apparently all run by ex-girlfriends. Okay. I remember a while back, people were having similar issues from using VPNs. If you were traveling using a VPN, this might be the reason. Maybe. I just started, what are the exact names of the things I shouldn't be using so I can avoid them? Credit card, that's funny. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, Boozer came out with something for, uh, we'll look into that next. Whenever of you have a free gear removal item, I hear you want to remove an item. Dude, you ever try to remove an item off of, like, somebody? Like, let's try to, let's try to remove this. Hold on, let's try to look at somebody I don't really... I haven't really been using. Let me see. Uh, Platina? Yeah, we can take this off Platina. Let me see. Look at this. Do you really want to activate for one hour? I didn't know it was one hour. I thought it was an entire day. I should have read it proper, though. So it's my bad. Let's dig into this. Let's see here. There have been multiple bands. Okay. Uh, looks like the problem is RSL Helper being flagged, but the people who are banned also use HH Optimizer, and with the limited information anybody's gotten from Polarium about it, it's hard to pin down what it might be. To be safe, I'm turning off both for now. Okay, same thing. As one, This guy also posted, as one of the banned, I was just about to make this post. Anyone affected by this should also pop into Discord, let the devs know a bit about the a uh, bit of info about what happened. Far okay, so the guys are looking in to rule it out, but blah 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 blah. Good looking out. Here is a link to the Discord. If anybody's wanted, they got an English chat section. You want to post it there. The only issue here is that Polarium is being cryptic about their reasons. Yep. Intern must have accidentally put these tools on the no-fly list. Been using the RSL helper, but not the optimizer. Haven't been banned. So maybe it's the optimizer. It's not the optimizer as per SAF. He's already looked into it on their end for me, just assuming he would have reviewed the optimizer logs and interactions on the server. Uh, okay. So it seems like community sentiment so far is nobody knows. But what do you guys think? 